your girl Garam Mini, the answer to all your prayers, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, on this channel, all about good times, good vibes, and good chats. And so, if that's what you're all about and you're looking for some great content and great energy, then you've definitely come to the right place. Join the family by subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications so you're notified every single time I post. Give this video a very big thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment down below because on this channel, we are a family. You know what I'm saying? And families are open to each other's suggestions and ideas and opinions and, you know, that sort of thing. So I definitely do love knowing what you guys think and how you guys feel and what you guys would like to see. So feel free to blow up my comment section. I will definitely um, like, like the comments so that you guys can see that I actually saw it. Um, a lot of you who comment will probably know that I do that quite often. But yes, 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 yes. As you've probably already seen by the title of the video, today's video is an unpopular opinions tag. Because I, for one, feel like I've got so many unpopular opinions, guys. People are always disagreeing with me. People are always fighting me. Like, you know? I just think my opinions aren't the most popular and that's okay you know because i know you guys are my family so you won't drag me for my opinions i get that's how it works i get yes yes we don't judge each other here this is a judgment free zone okay <laughs> with that being said let us get into today's video before i start i just want to take uh this time to quickly say don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms on instagram it's at garabo on twitter it's at garabo in 50 Dean, I will put the links to both those um, social media platforms in the description box. That's if you guys even look at that. I honestly don't know if you do, but hopefully you do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So, moving right along. My very first unpopular opinion, guys, is pineapples don't belong on pizza. Why must you have a fruit on a pizza? In my mind, guys, in my cope, when I think of a pizza, I think of that thing that's got meat and cheese and mushrooms and damati and you know that sort of thing personally that's what i think of when i hear a pizza so what are you doing putting pineapples on a pizza you know and okay i know you guys are gonna fight me and say oh but tomatoes are also the fruit and yeah 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 Oksalayo, a tomato is not sure whether it's a fruit or a vegetable it's the one of it's 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 a combo pineapples are fruits why are we putting fruits and pizzas like i'm failing to understand like, just, I, to me and also it tastes disgusting guys it's so revolting like has it all no man mm -mm, mm -mm, hey no babes like what's going on there like I get on you, man. Mm -mm. it's just not it pineapples are meant to be eaten as a pineapple as a fruit salad as yeah man no not why in my head eat pineapple we have been so good I think in English it's ginger beer. Hopefully I'm right. I think that's what it is. And I just, I, I, I don't get why we are putting pineapples on pizza. Anyway, that's just my opinion. My next unpopular opinion, guys, is Nando's is so overrated. Like, yeah, no, hey? Nando's is not something that you can write home about, man. That's not something I sub away, hey? Like, in Nando's, I'll eat it when it's there. Like, because obviously it's there. And, you know, I won't say no to it when it's here. But for me to sit down and say, you are in Dibawin in Nando's, guys. No. Not, not, no, no. And unfortunately, that just won't happen, you know. I, I just, Nando's is not that great. It's. Like, I think in the chicken, the pegagini tastes better. Like, there's really nothing great about Nando's. There really isn't. Maybe there's sauce, yeah, which you can buy at Pick and Pay. Or Checkers. Or Woolworths. Or Macro. Any store that sells food, you will find that sauce there. So, for me, there's just nothing to run home about, you know. Like, it's just Nando's. Get chicken, little chips, little rolls, mama red. And that's about it, you know. Nothing great. <laughs> Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't don't come for me, don't don't come for me, honey. That's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, moving right along. My next unpopular opinion, guys, is personally, personally, for me, love over money any day. And I'll tell you why, right? I'll tell you why. For me, I just think I, I'm not gonna say money can't buy you happiness, man. Money can buy you happiness. 
but it can't buy you joy. And there's a difference between the two. Happiness is temporary. Joy is everlasting. That's the difference. Happiness is something like that can make you happy for two seconds, you know. Joy is being able to be content no matter what's going on. Good, bad, ugly, okay, normal, whatever. Joy is being able to find the good or making the most out of whatever it is that you have. Happiness is two seconds, you know. Happiness is a failure. So for me, joy is more important than happiness. And that's why I would go for love over money. Because I feel like with love, you can always have that sense of joy. You know, that, that, that sense of knowing that no matter what happens, I can make the most of this. Or this isn't the worst. Or this, you know, like it's being able to look past what's happening right now. You know, it's being able to see past the things that are, are, are happening in your life at that moment and at that point. So for me personally, I would honestly choose love over money. Money, you know, and so does everything that comes with it. You know, you could have the biggest house today and tomorrow be it's being repossessed. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas love, whereas love is a little more um, everlasting. It's, it's a little more enduring um, and like that sort of thing. So for me, Definitely love over money. Definitely love over money. And I know you guys are going to drag me and fight me and whatever. God of Salah. Love over money. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. You know the last time, in my last video, someone said I laugh a lot. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just always laughing. That's just the person that I am. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along. Stepping ahead. Doing the cha-cha. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Woo! Okay, no. Moving on along. Next one is that. <coughs> Let me clear my throat for this one. Guys, South Groove over North Groove any day, babes. Listen, 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 listen. There is no other vibe like South Groove. What? Hey, la la chonga. South Groove, guys, stays winning. I don't care who says what. Guys, South Groove is where it's at. You don't even want to leave. You don't want to leave. You literally want to stay there the whole night. And let me tell you what it is about South Groove there that beats North Groove. South Groove, number one, is very cheap. Right. Number two, <laughs> number two, the vibes, the vibes, baby. And when you go to Groove, you go to Groove for the vibes. South Groove has the vibes. Guys, at South Groove, everybody's your friend. Even the people you meet there, they are your friend. You will forget about them when the Groove is finished, but they're your friend. Guys, South Groove is just the energy levels, just everything about it. It's just so... Yeah, no matter how sad you are, soft groove will always make you happy. I swear to God. It will literally just lighten up your mood. North groove, North groove, yeah, do run it. North groove is expensive. And it's expensive for nothing because you don't even get the, the vibes, man. Like, I just think North groove is too overrated, man. North groove, get it there, the little henny and see, you know, to look cute and everything and to, you know, but there's no vibes there. Like, even when a good song comes out, it's like, yeah, for two seconds and then you sit down. And at North groove now, everybody's always giving each other the eyes, like, you know, and everybody who sits in the, the, the section feels so bougie. But I guess that's what you pay for because you pay for that kind of vibe. But to be quite honest, for me, North groove, there's nothing great about it. There's nothing great about it. Like, you're going to pay a lot of money for like the alcohol and the section and the whatever but there's really nothing great like you know the vibes you're literally gonna sit down and just look at each other in the eyes and you're gonna look cute that's what you're gonna do at north groove for me north groove is not the greatest honestly speaking like south groove is where it's at south groove is elite south groove guya fiwa south groove in fine. you see booty here yeah no this is what I came here for. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas North Groove, I have a tone. We're good. Like, we're okay. But yeah. Just in G. You know? My next unpopular opinion, guys. Mcholo. Guys, let's not fool ourselves. Mcholo's nice. Can we please not play? Let's not play, guys. Mcholo is a vibe. Don't lie. Don't lie. I don't care what you say. But guys, 
Mjolo is a vibe. Let's not lie to ourselves, guys. Maybe the things that come with Mjolo aren't the greatest, né? the issues and like that sort of thing. God, the Mjolo is nice, guys. Mjolo is, Mjolo is a vibe. No, we can't read the morning with somebody message paragraphs there about someone telling you how much they miss you, guys. And just knowing that there's somebody who just loves you like that, you know? Somebody who cares for you. And just, guys, Mjolo is nice, to be quite honest. And like, you see, Mama Jolie, you can see, your WhatsApp will be the driest thing on the planet. Not even Vaseline can fix it. Literally, Mjolo is a vibe. Let's not play ourselves, guys. I'll agree that the things that come from Mjolo aren't the best. But let's not lie and say Mjolo's not nice. Guys, Mjolo is nice. And then you feel it when you're single, guys. You literally feel it. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, feel it's not it's it's not the one although sometimes you know you're okay with being single because there's other things that you're just trying to work on in your life and that sort of thing but guys mjolo is a vibe and let us not lie that's what i'm asking for let us not lie and if you feel like fighting me go fight with your ancestors because you know i'm speaking the truth okay you know it <laughs> My next unpopular opinion, guys, and this one, hey, please, hey, don't, 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 don't start me. Don't, don't, please, I don't believe I am asking you nicely, kindly, okay? Don't start with me. This one, I thought you can fight with the wall in front of you or behind you or next to you or whatever, but fight with the wall. Alcohol is disgusting. Alcohol is the worst thing. Like, I'll, you say me. Say me, you are a uh, no la la. There's nothing great about alcohol at all. Alcohol is the bottom, actually. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Has it done? No la la, it's a no from me. Hey, give me zero, man. Mark me absent. Alcohol is not nice, guys. I don't care who says what, but alcohol is not nice. I get that some of you drink for the feeling and whatever, but alcohol itself is not nice. And that's the honest truth. Let's not play ourselves. We know it. <laughs> we know it. Alcohol is not nice, guys. You know, and I don't care a damn what you say, but alcohol is not good, and that's the truth. Period. Moving right along, the next one, guys, is noodles taste so much better, ne? When they're made in the micro oven, microwave. When they're made in the microwave and not in a pot. Firstly, for me, ne, in my head, two minute noodles are something that's supposed to be quick, quick, fast, fast, ne? So when you're gonna make it with a pot, what's the point? Because that's just so much effort and energy. Like you must get a pot, you must boil water to put in the pot, then you must put the noodles in the pot, then you must wash the pot, and you must wash the plate that you were eating with. What are they not called two minute noodles for a reason? So that it takes you two minutes to make them. And I, I just I've just never understood the point of making noodles with a pot when you can make them in a microwave. Yeah, no, it it just doesn't make sense to me, you know. I, I, I've just always failed to understand what was the reason, you know. But anyways, yeah, moving right along. I think this is my last unpopular opinion for today. I've got many others, but I will end here. I don't care who says what, ne? <laughs> I don't care who says what, guys. I don't care, ne? African cuisine is way better than these upper class restaurants. I right, guys, no. Let's please can we not fight? Guys, have you ever eaten itombolo? Ne? It's true. Oh la la. What? What? Or a stamp? It's true. No ways, babes. Listen, eh? Listen, I I don't care what you have to say. <laughs> I don't care. Guys, African cuisine is top class. Top class, but it's fine. We won't talk about that because I know I can't really, we want to go to Tasha's. And I'm not Tasha's, Tasha's, Tasha's. And I'm not saying that those restaurants don't make good food, they do. But personally, African cuisine still wins, babes. Like, what are you even saying? Guys, African cuisine is where it's at. Like, literally, if you've never tasted any, like, African sort of food, and when I say African food, I don't mean, like, just the basics. I mean, like, proper like stamp or samp in english i think it's called samp in english samp i don't know what dombolo is in english i'm sorry here like i'm not even gonna try and play myself and try and figure it out to me dombolo is always dombolo i don't know if there's even an english word for that but if there is let me know down in the comment section but try, try that kind of food guys yo hmm yeah no it's the one it's the one 
Anyways, guys, we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. If you've watched every single one of my videos, then you deserve a thumbs, my babes. Nothing but love for you. So from me to you, nothing but lirado. Until next time.